Do you remember who you were at 16? Do you remember what you had ahead of you? Those vegan guys. Thank you. I do and I don't. I remember 16 was an age where I was uh, working in a factory, putting in an application to work at Butlins, kind of unsure about everything, but you know, in a place of, of uh, privilege, really, you know, in uh, living in um, England. Um, you know, family, neighborhood, safety, relative. And I think never forgetting those things about yourself, trying to always remember who, who you were, who you have been, what you've had to overcome, what you've challenged, what you've fought, what you've accepted. Keeping all of that is what keeps us human, what keeps us grounded and human and, and, and empathic and able to genuinely see things from another person's perspective. And of course, what all this is alluding to is, is, is the title of this video. Um, the boy on the beach. Uh, this was uh, just uh, in the last few days, um, a 16 year old boy from uh, Sudan, along with another boy, got into a, a dinghy and tried to cross the channel from France to the UK. Now, just put yourself in that position for a moment. You're a 16 year old human being. We have no idea how long this young man, this boy had been living in the migrant camp there, there are some people who've been there years in makeshift tents and we have no idea how long he'd been there, how long the journey was from Sudan, how many stops there were along the way, what was the reason, was he fleeing persecution, was he fleeing war? Was he fleeing oppression? Was he just chasing opportunity? Wanting better? What must it take for you as a human being, knowing that you can't swim to get into a dinghy with another human being and try to cross a sea. What must you, what position must you be in to put yourself in that position to try and get out of it? Knowing that you can't swim. So this 16 year old boy dies in the water and washes up on the beach in Calais. And the Daily Mail shares the story on Facebook. And the number 
of laughing emojis. What have we become? You know, I know a very um, handsome gentleman who has a song which asks in very similar wording, very similar questions. And that handsome gentleman is, of course, my husband, Jason. And I'll link the song up there. But who, um, who are we if we don't feel this? Now, please, there have been times in previous vlogs where I have allowed myself to show some emotion. It doesn't mean I'm broken. It doesn't mean that that state has continued after the vlog. I allow myself to feel while I tell. And we should feel. That's the thing. These subhumans posting laughing emoticons, emojis at the story of a 16 year old desperate human being who died trying desperately to get to a better life to to be given the opportunity of a better life and what upsets me about it is that there are human beings who find that funny imagine if that was your kid and people find it funny and that either comes from a place of dumb fuckery meaning you don't even have the emotional intelligence to understand the brevity of what you've just read or it comes from pure evil and there are no other options you're either thick completely thick and subhuman or you're evil to laugh at something like that this daily mail man what a what a foul and disgusting newspaper with a largely matching readership You got a forward thing, you know what I mean? I mean, we're about to crash into Brexit. It's, it's, it's literally weeks away. Bit pussy. I knew you'd want to come in as soon as I started filming. Well, you know what you should do now? So as not to be rude. Hmm? You should come here and say hi. That's what you should do. Well, just come. Just come and say it quicker. People want to see you for one second. That's all. That's all. There you go. Now you can go about your busy, busy day. Bye bye. Um, so yeah, it it devastates me. It devastates me that 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 we have become so sorry that there are many of us 
who have become so embroiled in their own lives, in their own, in their own skin colour, in their own unacknowledged privilege, in their own comfort, that they cannot, is it that they cannot or is it just that they will not allow themselves to see or even imagine how it would feel to be the other person in that situation. And so the boy on the beach, um, who knows who he could have been could have been the man who created the cure for cancer could have been the man with an idea for a revolutionary education system where everyone was equal could have been the man who started a social enterprise that grew and helped millions of people around the world to be better but we'll never know and he'll never know because during his desperate attempt to be better to improve things for himself and maybe his family too he took a risk that ended up taking his life See, I mean, if you're new to the channel, if you're established on the channel, you already know me. You know me politically, you know me emotionally, you know who I am as a person. I wear it on my sleeve, I don't try and hide it, I don't feel any shame for it. If people want to take the piss out of me for it, good for you. I'm a thinking, feeling human being who happens to be extremely privileged. Even though I piss and mourn about, can't do this and we've lost thousands with vegan queens this year, that that's true. I never lose sight of the fact that I am, that I do have white privilege. I never lose sight of the fact that I have a wonderful husband and we have a great home and we have nothing on higher purchase and we have a car that gets us about and do you know what I mean it, it's and I, I, I never forget to acknowledge any of that and that I'm sharing my life with somebody that and it that's helping it so us both so much to get through this pandemic which everyone in the world is going through at the moment but and I own all that, but it, I can't, I can't be um, stuck in that vision. Do you know what I mean? I, I, I'm able to think, oh God, how, how, must, how must that have felt to be that young man, to, to, to be so desperate for change and betterment that you put yourself in incredible danger and it ends up taking your life and people in Britain laughed some some people in Britain laughed it's funny isn't it because um, even though Black Lives Matter BLM is still massively um, uh, prevalent at the moment and you know people have tried bringing it down oh that's just another one of those terrible blah 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 blah, blah bullshit and then you had all the crew saying, all lives matter. Do they? Including the boy on the beach. If you said at any point, all lives matter, then the boy on the beach matters. Regardless of where he was from, regardless of whether he was seeking uh, economic sanctuary, regardless of the colour of his skin, 
the the nature of his religion the, regardless all lives matter right so he mattered I, I think I don't ever want to become numb to this kind of thing I'll never forget the picture of the toddler either washed upon a beach who are we to say this is mine you can't come here because this is mine it's one planet one one and yeah it might have loads of different land masses on it and da -da 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 -da, but it doesn't mean we have to be oh but we're here you better stay there we don't want you here We have to oh, open our hearts. We have to. I mean, this is why most people voted Brexit because they thought that the uh, the immigration uh, would stop. But see, what's going to happen is all of the people that were uh, from the EU member nations, when we do actually come plummeting barreling out of the EU with no deal because Boris is a muppet and he never wanted one in the first place let's not forget he headed the whole campaign to leave with Cummings and Gove and, and all the bullshit they did so we're going to come plummeting out Many of the people that are from the EU nations that have lived here, worked here, thrived here, paid their taxes here, will leave. They'll just leave because this country is becoming a small little island with big high walls all around it and no heart. That's what this country is becoming. That's how it feels to me that this country that I live in is becoming at the moment. We're coming small. We're... we're becoming small and sheltered and singular and selfish so you know we're gonna need <laughs> we're gonna need immigration because many of you won't go fruit picking in the fields will you it's below you isn't it but you'll still stand on the street corner, won't you? Taking no our jobs! We're on this precipice at the moment with, it feels like, with politics and just, you know, the earth in general and where it do, It feels like the book 1984, there's all this double speak and people are falling for it. It's, Michelle Obama does this amazing speech at the DNC really good impassioned speech about uh, about the dangers of trump and about he hasn't met the moment uh, anyway and, and then uh tucker carlson who's watched by millions of americans talks about her hate filled speech hate filled there was no hate in it it was a desperate plea to change things politically um you know we've allowed this to happen though haven't we, we, we we've allowed this kind of uh, right wing conservative republican mindset to uh, or to become mainstream unchallenged and now it's now it's there and it's it's like it's it's in America and Britain it's, it's both places have got this this swath of people who are the Tommy Robinson supporters and the the Ben Shapiro supporters and you know and they listen to these people they listen to their hate hate filled drivel and their their blame game and uh, and, and we end up with a, a you know a nation of unempathic uncaring finger pointers um and it just 
sometimes you just need to talk about it you need to kind of acknowledge that okay this is happening and i'm going to stay aware of this and and that 16 year old boy on the beach you know his his life mattered to me it mattered to me it, 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 who he could have become should matter to us all you know some of the the most amazing Nobel Peace Prize winners in the world, some of the, the historical figures who, who changed the world for the better, they were all 16 once. Maybe they fleed, they had to flee persecution or oppression or war. Maybe it was part of what made them great. So th this wasn't just a boy on a beach. This was a a human being this was a a, a a boy a young man this was somebody that some, someone had held once and fed be it from the breast or from a bottle and and felt a love connection this was someone who had played with a ball or a stick or a, a little bike this was someone who had at some point in his life experienced some kind of schooling who had a favorite food and a favorite drink who had a, a, a favorite memory who had maybe an infectious laugh uh, maybe a really deep emotional connection to animals maybe he Hi, baby. So many maybes, but not just a boy on a beach. Don't ever lose your humanity and don't ever let anybody make you feel bad for being empathic, for having the ability to feel for other people. Um, of course, people say, oh, there's a lot of piss takers. Of course there is. Of course, of course there's piss takers in life who who aren't seeking uh, betterment for themselves but are just seeking ease uh, of course there are um, but systems aren't stupid you know what I mean you have to trust in systems and systems have to evolve constantly into how they process people and information and data and we have to do exactly the same. We have to evolve constantly. How do we process information? How do we deal with it? How do we react to it? How do we feel it? Are we empathic about it? Is it just a, oh, that's a story that's just outside there on the edge and so I'm not really bothered about that because we really should all be bothered about everything. And I know it's a lot. I know it's a lot and Nobody's expecting you to sit and think about the world constantly and because we all need a break. That's why we have Netflix <laughs> and Amazon and TV, you know, and and cooking and things that we can do to take our minds off things. But we should never stop aiming for the better world that we all claim to want and claim to want for everybody. The boy on the beach was somebody and he mattered to somebody and he was just looking for a place I mean to put yourself in that kind of risk being unable to swim and getting in a dinghy to cross the sea you've really want got to want to change your life and it ended his life and some human beings laughed about that. Don't be one of them. We have to be better than that. All of us. See you again very soon. Until then, please be excellent to yourselves and each other. And that means everyone.